हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू लिटरेचर गाइड टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट जॉन ड्राइडन्स डिफेंस ऑफ द मॉडर्न एंड द इंग्लिश प्लेज इन द इसे ऑफ ड्रामेटिक पोएजी पब्लिश इन सिक्सटीन सिक्सटी एट जॉन ड्राइडन इन द नेम नियडर हैज विंडिकेटेड द इंग्लिश प्लेज अगेंस्ट द फ्रेंच प्लेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जॉन ड्राइडन says that the french plays are just like beautiful statues but they are lifeless and they lack variety whereas the english plays are pregnant with life and variety secondly john dryden states that tragic comedy is not an artificial and inartistic thing because in life we experience both gaiety and sorrow together and one relieves the other thirdly john dryden says that the french plays have only one plot whereas the english plays present variety and pleasure by having plots and under plots in this way he expresses one point after another in defense of the english plays this is my fourth video on john dryden i have already produced three videos on dryden's criticism the first one was john dryden and the heroic couplet in tragedy john dryden's views on the three dramatic unities and the third one was john dryden's definition of drama if you want to get more information you can visit a website the link of the website is there on the screen i don't want to waste your time let's dive into a video and enjoy the video john dryden's defense of the modern and the english plays John Dryden's An Essay of Dramatic Poesy is the most important work. The work is lengthy and bulky, discussing many problems current in his age. The first part of An Essay of Dramatic Poesy deals with the definition of drama and the description of the three dramatic unities, Kreitz remarks that ancients are superior to the moderns. But this contention is challenged by Eugenius who tries to defend the moderns. Similarly, Lycidius praises the French stage, and asserts that the English dramatists were no comparison to the French dramatists. This contention is not accepted by Neander, and he elaborately argues how the English dramatists are superior to the French dramatists. Kreitz's Defense of the Ancients Kreitz starts with the remark that the ancients both invented and perfected the art of drama. Among the ancients, there was a healthy competition, which produced great men of genius, whereas such healthy competition was missing among the moderns, and they disparage each other. Emulation which was the spur of the wit vanished from the modern age, and drama declined. The second argument of Kreitz is that the ancients have been faithful imitators and wise observers of the nature. They have provided a perfect imitation of nature. But the moderns have neglected this and have rendered a monstrous and disfigured face. Thirdly, the ancients discovered the rules of drama and the famous three unities. They also observed these unities. Lastly, the ancients wrote superbly well and Ben Jonson praised them. These are arguments of Kreitz in favor of the ancients. Eugenius in defense of the moderns. Eugenius accepts that the ancients had made all the rules, but they had not scrupulously followed them. But the moderns have excelled the ancients by observing these dramatic unities more sincerely. Besides the moderns have constructed their plays better by dividing their plays into five acts, the ancients composed their works by entrance rather than by acts, so the structure of their plays is faulty. Secondly, the moderns have invented real plots, and they also perfected their technique. The ancients were not perfect in the technique and they were also defective in moral teaching. 
Many times the ancients upheld wickedness and punished the virtue in the name of poetic justice. The moderns proved their skill by writing tragedies as well as comedies. But the ancients specialized only one of them. Lastly, the ancients were strong in the scenes of terror and cruelty but very weak in pathos. They could not raise compassion in the audience. Moreover, they failed to depict the soft passion of love. But the moderns wrote much better love scenes. However, in the end Kreitz agrees that if the ancients had lived in later times, they would have made many necessary changes. Lycidius' Admiration for the French Stage Lycidius declares that the French writers definitely gained superiority over the English playwrights. He provides the following reasons. First of all he says that the French plays are written with more art and correctness. They observed the unities sincerely and the plays were free from the burden of underplots. They never wrote the absurd tragic comedy. Their tragic plots are based on history but they altered them to the artistic moods of drama. They also rewarded virtue and dispensed with the cruelty of history. In addition to these things, the French dramatists maintained great economy in plots, and they also did not put too much action in a play. They got more scope for elaborating the passion in beautiful verse. The French playwrights also concentrated on a single character, and also used narration to avoid violence and deaths on the stage. Lycidius adds that the French have many other merits that make a play look very natural. Neander's defense of the English and moderns against the French and ancients. John Dryden in the name Neander, vindicates the English drama against the French with the following arguments. As a play is lively imitation, the French drama is not perfect. It may be more regular and correct, but it lacks life and variety. The beauties of the French plays are like the beauties of a statue. They are not animated with the soul of poetry. Whereas the English play has presented more life and variety and hence superior to the French. A tragic comedy is not inartistic because in life we enjoy gaiety and sorrow together, and relieves the other. A combination of mirth and sadness is really more natural and more relieving. So the English playwrights have perfected a more pleasant method which is unknown to the ancients or the French. The tragic comedy is a glory for the English. Plays with plots and underplots provide more variety and pleasure. It exhibits inventiveness and fertility of the playwrights. The French playwrights are barren, and they satisfy themselves with one plot. English plays with underplots are definitely superior to the French plays. The French plays are too cold and merely declamatory. Long speeches do not express genuine passion because it is unnatural for anyone in a gust of passion utter long dialogues. Brief sentences express emotion better. For example, John Fletcher's plays are higher in perfection than the French plays. Dryden does not accept that violence or death should be narrated. The French made use of narrative method because they could not bear them on stage. On the other hand the English like to see violence and action on the stage. So the presentation of violence and action on the stage are definitely better for English. John Dryden states, if the English are blamed for showing too much of action, the French can be blamed for showing too little of it. Lastly, John Dryden remarks, the strict observation of rules is not a great credit. It means a blind and servile obedience to laws. While observing the unities a playwright must not become narrow in imagination and absurd in execution. The French playwrights by observing the dramatic unities have created many absurd plays. But the English playwrights produced more lively and artistic plays by neglecting these dramatic unities. Similarly, the English playwrights had used blank verse, even before it was used by the French. Lastly, John Dryden says that some English dramatists have produced perfect and artistic dramas like The Silent Woman written by Ben Jonson. In this way, John Dryden not only defends the moderns against the ancients but also upholds the English dramatists against the French playwrights.
How is the video? I hope you liked the video. I have already produced many videos on English prose, poetry and drama. You can watch these videos on this channel Literature Guide. If you want to get more information, you can visit a website. The link of the website is there on the screen. I would like to thank my subscribers and non-subscribers who have given great support to this channel Literature Guide. If you like the content produced by this channel, do like and subscribe Literature Guide. If you have any suggestion, you can put your comment in the comment box below. I will meet you soon with a new and fresh topic of English literature. Meet you. Please subscribe Literature Guide.